Hello and welcome to Wild Country Adventures. In this video, I'll be building the window insert for my Sentry CTC truck cap, which is part of my F-150 camper build. I use the window insert as a place to store miscellaneous items I may need readily available while on road or at camp. It also holds my 7-inch tablet, which I use for entertainment purposes. It sits right in my blind spot, so I don't need to worry about it obstructing my view. Now, I did sew many of the pouches I'll be attaching to the window insert, as well as a portion of the insert itself, but I didn't include the sewing in the video as it was getting a little lengthy, and I didn't want to bore the viewer all that much. Besides, if you decide to do this build, I'm sure you'll customize it to fit your gear and not mine. I also didn't include any of the measurements as the measurements in your truck cap may differ from my truck cap. With that said, let's build something. I began by cutting an eighth inch thick sheet of plywood to the shape of the window going from the front of the window and stopping at the back portion that opens. This back portion will be covered with vinyl at a later stage in the build. I also used a cardboard template which was cut out and used as a guide to draw my lines. I'm then going to sand down the edges just to make sure they're smooth as I'll be wrapping this in vinyl a little later. Next, I'll drill three holes where I'll mount the arm that holds my 7 inch tablet. I'll then drill two sets of three holes where I'll mount a couple small cargo nets. Now, I'll cut the vinyl to the shape of the plywood, making sure I leave a couple inches of overhang just so I can fold it over and staple it to the wood. With that done, I'll trace the plywood around the vinyl, which will give me a guide to stitch on the second piece of vinyl that will cover the portion of the window that opens. This will roll back and allow me to open the window and get ventilation in the truck. Next, I use a paper template to draw my line and then cut out the other portion of vinyl that will cover the rest of the window. It's also important to remember to cut out a notch in this piece of vinyl so it will wrap around the window crank. Now I'll mark where the two pieces of vinyl will be stitched together. I'm then going to sew the two pieces together, hem the second piece while adding velcro so when I roll it back I can attach it to the insert itself. I'll be back once the sewing is done. Okay, I now have the two pieces of vinyl stitched together and the second piece hemmed with the velcro added.
Now I'm ready to attach the vinyl to the wood. I'm simply going to lay the wood on top of the vinyl using the lines I traced earlier to ensure I get proper placement and I still have the 2 inch overhang. Next, I'll fold the edges of vinyl over and staple it to the wood. I also want to make sure I'm pulling the vinyl tight to ensure that it molds to the shape of the wood. With the vinyl attached, I then want to punch nine holes in the vinyl going through the nine holes I drilled earlier. Okay, with that done, I'm going to attach the two cargo nuts by using machine screws and sliding them through the wood side first. It's also important to make sure you're placing the nut on the vinyl side of the window insert to make sure that the side facing the window is as flush as possible. Alright, with the first one done, we just need to do the same thing to attach the second one. Now, I'll use the same process to attach the arm that'll hold my 7 inch tablet. I'll then flip the window insert over and cut off the excess vinyl. With the excess vinyl removed, I'm going to cover the back of the window insert with soundproofing material just to add a little cushion which will help protect the window. Now, it's time to add the attachments. To do this, I'm simply stapling them into the wood, starting with a couple of pouches for my two-way radios. I'll then staple on a pouch for my Backtrack GPS,
and then a couple of straps that'll hold my folding saw. I'll then add a couple of strips of Velcro which will hold my first aid kit. I did end up adding a third piece of Velcro just to ensure it didn't fall off while the truck was moving. Next, I'll add a pouch that'll hold a couple of rain ponchos and a couple of small pouches that'll hold a flash drive with movies for the 7 inch tablet. I'll then add a pouch for an eyeglasses repair kit, a pouch for some off mosquito cartridges, and a loop that'll hold the off clip on. After I add some more staples to the gun. Okay, with the window insert completed, it's time to make the mounting brackets. To make the mounting brackets, I'm just cutting out a two inch piece of quarter inch wide aluminum, drilling a hole in one end, filing down the edges, and adding a piece of double sided tape to the end opposite the hole. Now, I just need to make 10 more and paint them black. I should also add that I did purchase 11 screws slightly longer than the ones in the window frame to account for the thickness of the mounts. Now, let's get this thing installed. To install the window insert, I'm removing 11 screws from the window frame spaced out as evenly as possible. I'll then replace the old screws with the longer new ones while adding the mounts. I'm just doing this to three of them at first and once the window insert is in place, I'll do the same with the other eight. With the window insert in place, I'm going to clean the remainder of the window frame with isopropyl alcohol and attach some Velcro. This will hold the back portion of the window insert in place and also allows me to roll it back to access the window. Once this is done, the install is complete. So there you have it. Using the cardboard and paper templates really makes this a simple build with very minimal measuring required. Hopefully you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos from Wild Country Adventures.